So in this recorded slide pack, I'm going to go through how you can find the equation of the line given a table of value, and then afterwards how you can find the equation of the line given two points. So the prerequisite to understand this work is to have really understood well how to, starting from the equation of the line like y equals 3x plus 2, and the process to draw your graph, your line. And this process goes through creating a table of values, which is for different values of x, you're going to calculate the matching value of y. Each of these column then will generate a point. So here you have minus 2, uh, minus 4, and that column will be x is minus 1, y is minus 1, etc. And this has been covered in a previous lesson. If you're not very clear on this, then I recommend that you start by having a look at a previous lesson. Once you've generated your table of values, all the points you have created, you can put them on your graph and you can draw a straight line graph um, represented this equation. So this graph here really is the graph of the equation y equals 3x plus 2. But here what I want to go through is how you're going to actually do it in reverse. So this means, imagine you're given the table of values like here on this slide, how can you actually go back to the equation of the line? It's the same example as the slide before. So we sort of know it's y equals 3x plus 2y, because we've just seen it on the slide before. But how could you actually find from these list of values here um, the equation y equals 3x plus 2? Well, what you will notice, what you can notice is here, the table, each number, every time x increases by 1, how much does your y value increase by? Well, every time it increases by plus 3. So every time it increases by plus 3. So because the y value increases by plus 3, we know that our equation, it's an equation, so it will have an equal sign, it will have y on one side, because that's what we're trying to, con to calculate, it goes up in 3, so it's going to be 3x. Okay, But 3x is, is not just 3x, because otherwise, when x is 0, y would be 3 times 0 is 0. So we're missing something, because that's not right. You're missing the second part, and the second part of the equation is actually the value of y when x is 0. So it goes up in 3s, therefore we have 3x. Yes, but when x is 0, we start at 2. So what we're going to do is 3x add 2. So to summarize this, we're going to go through another example and have the notes. Those ought to be written down in your book so that you can remember that it has to be memorized. So first of all, the equation of a line, so our example here, y equals 3x plus 2. So an equation of a line is always in the form y equals mx plus c. This m here, which in our example would be 3, so in this example we have m equals 3. So this value m is called the gradient. So you need to be familiar with this math term. It's a new term. So it's the coefficient of x uh, in your equation when y is the subject. So in the example of y equals 3x plus 2, how many x's do we have? We have 3. The coefficient of x is 3. Therefore, the gradient of this uh, line is 3. How do I find this 3 if I'm just given a table of values? You look how much it goes up by. So every time you add 3, every time you add 3, so your gradient is 3. You have half of the equation that is found because you have a gradient. The second part of the equation uh, is going to be um, the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is going to be the bit that's at the end here, so the plus c. 
how do I find this y-intercept? So this c here is called the y-intercept. It is the value of y when x is 0. So the value of y when x is 0. Why is that? Well, because if x is 0, then m times x, m times 0 is 0. So really, th that mx is equal to 0. What's left for y? Well, when x is 0, what's left of y is this c, the y-intercept. How do I find this value? Well, in your table of value, it's the value of y when x is 0. So here, x is 0. So that's the third column in our table. How much is y then? 2. So my y-intercept here, c, is 2. And I'm going to put positive 2. Okay, so we can see it from the equation, it's plus 2. Now you've got the gradient, the y-intercept. To write the equation, you just have to write it out. So it's an equation, you start with y equals, because it's a link because between a y and x, so y equals mx, m is 3, so we're going to have 3x plus c, plus your y-intercept, plus 2. Here are two more examples. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do the first one and then you can stop the slide pack and have a go at doing the second one. So let's look at the first one. I'm looking for an equation of the line. So it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. So to write the equation of the line, I need to write to work out two parts. I need to work out the value of m called the gradient and I need to work out the value of c, called the y-intercept. How do I find m? It's how much I go up by. So here, I go from 7 to 15, I'm adding 8. Let's check that it's the same all the time. 15 to 23, I am adding 8. 23 to 31, I'm adding 8. I'm adding 8. So my gradient is 8. Part two, I need to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the value of y when x is zero. So I go in my table, I find the column where x is zero. So in here it's quite simple, it's the first column. And how much is y when x is zero? Seven. So my y-intercept is seven. I now have all the ingredients my line will be y equals, my gradient is 8, so 8x, the y-intercept is positive 7, add 7. Now it's your turn. Have a go at the one on the right-hand side. Okay, so here's the correction from this question. Hopefully you've had a go at it. This is a table of value, and I'm looking for the equation of the line represented in the table of value here. The equation of the line would be the form y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is c. How do I find the gradient? The gradient is how much y goes up by every time x goes up by 1. And here, I'm going up by 6. Let's make sure it's always the same. Yes, 13 to 19 is plus 6. 19 to 25 is plus 6. 25 to 31 is plus 6. So my gradient is plus 6. I have done half of the work. Now I need to find my y-intercept. The y-intercept is the value of y when x is 0. So I go in my table, I find x is 0, which is here, and I need to extract the value of y. So this is my y-intercept. My y-intercept is a positive 7. I have both ingredients, the value of the gradient m, which is 6, the value of the y-intercept, which is 7. I just need to write out my result in the form of an equation now, which is y equals 6x plus 7. And this is how you find the equation of a line. 
So you have on these slides uh, nine uh, table of values for you to practice. You don't have to write them down in your book, but um, have a go at them. Just try to find the equation every time. And the ones on the right hand side, they are missing some of the values in the y values. So you will need to complete that first. Have a go. The answers are on the next slides. So, so far, you have learned how to write the equation of a line if you are given the table of values. In the second part of the lesson, instead of being given the table of values, you're given two points. In the future, you're going to learn how to find the equations directly from two points. But for now, let's link it to what you have already learned. So you can find the equation of a line from a table of values. Then draw a table of values. Draw it if it helps you. So. We're going to draw a table of values. We have x at the top. You have y at the bottom. The first point is x is minus 2, then y is minus 3. You have not been given the value of y for x is minus 1, or 0, or 1, or 2, or 3. Well, actually, 3 is your second point. So you know that if x is 3, y is 17. Now you have half a table of values. It's a little bit empty, but you're going to calculate the missing values. Remember, the gradient will be how much you go up by every time x goes up by 1. It's this increment. So how much has y gone up by? Well, to go from minus 3 to 17, uh, 17 take away minus 3, that would be 20. So you need 3 to go to 0, and then another 17 um, to go to 17, so 3 plus 17 is 20. So you change in y is 20. And your gradient is how much you need to go up by every time. So this 20 here is shared into five jumps because you need to go from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. 3 take away minus 2 is 5. You can just count them, otherwise, 1, 2, 3. So 1, two, three, four, and five. So this 20 needs to be shared into five jumps. 20 divided by five is four. So from your calculation, the gradient would be four. Let's double check what happens if you add four every time. Minus three add four is one. One add four is five. Five add four is nine. Nine add four is 13. Yes, your gradient is four. Second part, you now need to find your y-intercept. So remember, the y-intercept is the value of y when x is 0. So you need to find x is 0. It is the third position in your table. That's really the place where x is 0. How much is y? y is 5. So the value of y when x is 0, this c, this y-intercept, is 5. You now have both ingredients. You need to put it back into your equation form, y equals the gradient is 4 so 4x at 5 and this is the equation of a line you have a second example to do on the right hand side so i'm going to let you do it and on the next slide you will see the correction
So the last thing I would like to mention on this slide pack is what are you going to do if instead of being given a table of values or two points, you're given a line. So like the example on this slide. Well, what you can do is using your, um, your, your graph, you can then have a look and just see, well, I'm going to extract some points from the line and I'm going to draw my table of values myself. So I can see that my first point would be um, 0, 2, and then the next one would be 1, 5, and then 2, 8. And once you have your table of values, you go back to what you know. And that's what maths is about. It's about just finding a way to go back to something that you know. So you can have a go for a few examples afterwards. But if you have done all of that, you're a really nice place, a good place to then continue your learning.